Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Forecast application. In this video, I'm going to showcase how to migrate your Spring Boot application to Quarkus. We're going to use the Migration Toolkit for application, also known as MTA. So let's get started. When you run an uh, MTA tool on top of the Bootstrap container platform or the web console or the CRI command line, this is, just for example, when you use the web console UI, you can actually uh, select multiple transformation paths to migrate your application. So for example, as you can see, you can actually select a uh, full migration path with the JVS EAP or containerization to running a push container platform or just a Linux container. And also you can select uh, OpenJDK as a target environment. So we're gonna use a Quarkus uh, as target environment as a part of your transformation path. And you can also use and select the Spring Boot on Red Hat runtime, which means you can uh, migrate from the community Spring Boot project to Red Hat uh, Spring Boot uh, runtime by support Red Hat. Okay, uh, this is my OpenShift container platform. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna create a new project first. Uh, so change MTA dash test, and then uh, we needed to go to operators menu and operator hub. Uh, we're gonna install. Uh, the MTA using operators. So actually, you can install standalone server on your uh, local machine or your server. Uh, also, you can use ID plugin or Maven plugin, but we're going to use MTA uh, operator in this case because it, uh, operator allows you to maintain your uh, any application tool on a container platform, for example, uh, upgrade and patch or something change in your. Uh, MTA tools. Okay, so we just install our operator and just take a look at that a little bit detail and then you can find the YAML and subscription and event and the migration to give application. Let's try to create a new uh, wind up server. The wind up this community name, project name of MTA. Okay, there are the tons of the configuration when you install or create a new wind up instance here. So for example, you can define uh, MTA volume capacity uh, to use PVC because when you analyze your migration report, you need to store that report into uh, storage. And then you can define uh, CPU memory capacity as well. And there are a lot of configuration you can specify at uh, installation time. You can also change that once you uh, create the uh, wind up server. Okay, so let's go to a uh, developer perspective. You can find the four parts already running. The one is operator, the other is uh, MTA and executor, and also PostgreSQL to store your old uh, analyst report here. In the meantime, let's a little bit talk about what MTA is and a benefit. So the migration toolkit for application is an extensible and customizable rule-based tool which simplifies the migration of your Java application. So this MTA basically examines application artifacts including project source directories and application archives and then uh, produce HTML report that highlights area needing changes. So, and there are a lot of more features. For example, you can plan and work estimation when you uh, migrate or modernize existing Java application to cloud native Microsoft application. You can also identify migration issue and, pro and providing solution as well. And there are, when you uh, take a look at that, the result report and analysis report, you will find a lot of the high level views of a migration effort and detail or specific migration task based on story point. And then you can also customize your own rules uh, for your migration path. Okay, uh, once you click on MTA pod and you click on view logs, you can find all the sub below in the uh, load terminal window in a base container platform. As you can see, the MTA pod is already running and uh, ready to go. So let's click on the route URL, and this is the landing page of the MTA the web console. The, basically, the ID is an MTA password, just password. Okay, let's try to create a new project for migration, for example, Spring migration. We're going to use the uh, one of the most popular Spring projects, like a pet clinic application. Uh, based on REST, e, uh, REST uh, implementation. 
You can also uh, drag and drop or the import one of the uh, the server paths. Okay, so next step, uh, we're gonna select the transformation target. You can also uh, select a EAP or containerization or Linux up in JDK. I already mentioned earlier, but today we're gonna select the purpose uh, to migrate uh, existing Spring Boot uh, pet cleaning application. Okay, so select the package. You already selected the based on Spring pet cleaning uh, REST master uh, directory, and we're gonna next to because we not I'm not gonna use the custom labels and custom rules. And then target is the purpose, and the source is Spring Boot, and there are tons of more. The source and target are predefined, and I'm not gonna uh, specify the specific value. So just run uh, this uh, active analysis based on Spring Boot application to workers. It takes a few seconds, or sometimes it depends on the how much, how many your application uh, has the the number of source code. So it normally takes a, a, a few minutes or some 30 seconds to complete. So there are 913 source code here, and then we just finish that, and then you can find that a more detail, like a in, included package or a custom rules, a custom label. When you click on report, you can find another window, and then here is the uh, story point, uh, how much effort or time you need to migrate this application. Let's go to uh, issue menu and you can find the five migration mandatory issue and the one information here. So click on one of the issues here and you can find that uh, you need to change the Palm XML because you you basically use a Spring Cache. But luckily Quarkus provides a Spring compatible API, which means the developer standpoint, they don't need to change any source code, just change the Palm XML to use uh, Quarkus uh, Spring compatible API. But also, uh, you need to change Quarkus BOM based on uh, using Quarkus application. When you click on the links in the uh, analysis report, you can find more detail how to change or migrate your application. For example, you need to add the build and the profile on your Palm XML to use a uh, race Quarkus application bomb uh, project. All right, so let's take another the Spring Cache. Click on uh, Quarkus extension for Spring Cache compatibility API. You just need to add a dependency here, Spring uh, Quarkus and the Cache and the, uh, extension here. And the Spring Web, Spring Security, and then it's all the same. Way, just you need to add the new uh, dis, uh, dependencies on your Palm XML, which means you don't need to change any source code in your Java classes as well. Let's try to another project. In this case, so we're gonna migrate this application to Red Hat Runtime Spring Boot because Red Hat Runtime also uh, support and provide and the compatibility of uh, Spring Boot uh, project capability. So in this case, uh, sometimes you are playing with the uh, community Spring Boot application, but sometimes you need to have pro production ready uh, support by vendor like a Red Hat. So Red Hat, has, Red Hat Runtime uh, subscription provide and support the Spring Boot capability as well. So we're gonna use that thing, but I'm gonna showcase that the Red Hat uh, Spring Boot support is exactly the same the community project uh, functionality or capability. So when you uh, run uh, the web console based the analysis of MTA from existing Spring Boot application to migrate uh, runtime Spring Boot, uh, you will find uh, the story point just like we did for Quarkus migration. So as you can see, no story point here, which means that your existing Spring Boot application could exactly uh, works uh, in a Red Hat runtime Spring Boot environment. So just one thing, you need to change the, uh, the Maven Palm XML to refer to uh, Red Hat uh, Maven repository. How do you do that? And then you can go to uh, Red Hat Runtime Spring Boot BOM uh, to use many dependency version. As you can see, uh, you're gonna just use the snob, Snowdrop dependency based on latest version of the Red Hat Spring Boot support. So this is a simple way uh, to change the instant community-based Spring Boot application project to Red Hat Runtime-based project.
So thank you for watching and you have a good rest of the day.